In this video, I'm going to cover my current trading system for my Top Step 150K Express funded account. Uh, I did have a losing day on Wednesday, August the 9th, 2023, so I'm currently sitting at minus 14.15. Uh, still better than where I was. I was at minus 3,000. Uh, but I'm going to break down my current trading system uh, as it stands right now and let you know how I'm trading this Express funded account. So, number one entry models. I use two entry models from Michael Huddleston uh, predominantly and that is the fair value gap and the order block. So on my chart my drawings are, I use three drawings basically. I use the rectangle, the line, um, I, I draw out fair value gaps, liquidity, and, and uh, order blocks. So my entry models are either an order block or a fair value gap my exit model is I'm always aiming for liquidity so I'm always aiming for a high or for a low basically the market is always drawing to an old high or an old low could be a short-term high could be a long-term high could be a previous days high previous weeks high or low could be just a, a session high or low um, either way guys my my exit model is at a higher low um, in terms of risk management, I'm using the micro NASDAQ and I'm trading three micro NASDAQ contracts. So even though I could trade the minis, uh, I think the minis are way too much size for how much the market has been moving recently. So I'm on the micro NASDAQ. I use TradingView as my platform. I use a lot of drawings. Um, and my initial stop guys so I have two forms of stops let's talk about stop losses my initial stop is always 20 points exactly I just put in 20 points uh, kind of regardless of what I'm seeing on the chart at this point I've decided uh, it's just gonna be 20 points every time and and that's gonna be the initial stop in addition to that when the market starts moving in my favor I will use a three tick break-even stop and then I really am not going to move it up from there I'm not going to move trail up my stop loss too much guys instead I'm going to use partial exits so because I'm trading three micro Nasdaqs I can as the market moves in my favor I can take contracts off and take profit so instead of moving my stop loss uh, moving my stop loss from three ticks uh, basically it's just take a contract take a contract off take all the contracts off whatever um, so my initial stop is 20 points when the market moves in my favor 20 30 40 ticks then I will put in a, uh, a break-even stop at three ticks because that will cover commissions um, and that's that's basically the current trading system guys in addition to that I avoid economic releases so uh, we have economic releases coming out on August the 10th which is Thursday and August the 11th which is Friday I avoid those um, I also will not start I have to start doing this guys the New York Open even though it's fun it's it's whatever uh, I will not start trading until 0950 I've decided just that's got to be a hard and fast rule for me not to start trading until 0950 exactly uh, not a minute before that just 0950 exactly so I will avoid economic releases and I will avoid the New York Open for the first 20 minutes so I will not start trading until 0950 New York local time um, so avoid economic releases avoid the New York Open start trading at 0950 my entry models are order blocks and fair value gaps my exit model is an old high or an old low my risk management is to trade the micro NASDAQ using three contracts and to take off uh, parcel profits as the market moves in my favor rather than moving the break-even stop so and my initial stop is going to be 20 points exactly and I will not move it from there that's hundred and twenty dollars or hundred and twenty three dollars and sixty cents of risk or ninety cents hundred and twenty three dollars and ninety cents of risk on every trade uh, which is a reasonable amount for how often you know what my strike rate is which right now is at about 55 percent so that's a reasonable uh, a reasonable stop for for a three thousand dollar daily loss limit I should virtually never hit that daily loss limit so long as I actually let my initial stop get hit um, in addition to that guys I'm going to focus not on the money but focus on executing my plan so regardless of how much money I make or lose in a day it really doesn't matter 
Uh, the only thing is whether I'm sticking to the plan that I've just outlined to you. So again, my entry models, fair value gaps and order blocks, my exit models, old highs and old lows, my initial stop placement, 20 NASDAQ, uh, 20 micro NASDAQ points, my break even stop is at three ticks. I will take partial profits as the market moves in my direction rather than trailing the stop loss up. I will just use partial, again, partial profits. And um, other than that, guys, the basic idea is here. I have the model. I just gave you my entry model, gave you my exit model. I gave you my risk management, including initial stop and break even stop. I gave you my exit model, which is the old highs and old lows. I gave you the, yeah, the, the models from Michael that I use. And that's the current plan, guys. And now the only question is, all right, can I stay disciplined and can I execute this plan day in and day out and not focus on the money, but focus on did I did I follow the game plan? I have I have a fully fleshed out game plan right now, every aspect of trading that I need. So that's it, guys. Uh, just in this short video, I went over what the current trading system is as of Wednesday, August the 9th, 2023. And at this point, I'm happy with that system. And that's what I'll be sticking to. I'm not going to reward myself based on how much money I've, I've, I make in a day, but only on whether I only on whether I followed the system that I just laid out to you. Okay, guys. Bye-bye.